Um, obviously, we all had had our struggles in, in 20, and uh, luckily we got 11 games in, and, and our guys were really, really good. And, uh, you know, but it was not really this talk isn't about that, but uh, it was different to say say the least. But, um, you know, we, we got we got through it, and uh, I really uh, just respect the way our kids went about uh, this year of the pandemic. So we're off and running. Uh, we had a good morning. Sam, you'll know, it reminded me of you. The old UMass days, we had a little early morning run outside or indoor facilities being fixed. So uh, at a traditional New England <clears throat> winter conditioning, and it was great. Our guys were good. So a uh, good way to finish the week. So today I just want to talk to, uh, you know, to the guys out there and, and uh, just give you one concept and go into a little bit of details. Uh, what we call our drive concept. Um, <clears throat> it's a it's a staple of our offense and has been since 2008 when I was a senior assistant for the Philadelphia Eagles and uh, worked with Andy Reid and, and, and the great guys on that staff. And really that's where I learned um, this concept. Um, it's been a first day install for us since then. When I went to Miami after that, uh, always been a staple of, of the West Coast offense. And, uh, you know, we call it the drive concept. Um, you know, it originated way back when with, with Bill Walsh and uh, um, Mike Holmgren. He was really the one who, when I went to Cleveland, he kind of added a few little things to details to it that I uh, kind of incorporate with the time. But, uh, hey, it's, it's, it's been a... Great play throughout, and uh, sometimes when I look at the cutups, I, I probably should throw it more, but uh, um, it's a base play in our offense. So today I'll give you the base play. I'll give you some some variations off of it, some different formations, um, how we go about it, how we teach it, and then don't hesitate to, to get a question in, in the middle of this. This is for you, not for me to hear myself speak, but uh, um, this play, I use it on first down. I use it on second down. Uh, third down is it's a good man beater. It's a good zone play. Uh, third down, you know, probably up to six, third and to six yards, you know, unless we're in a, in a, in a you know, big red zone or something in that area where we're, we think we might go for it on, on fourth. We like it against man. It's good against zone, good against all, all, all coverages that way. And, uh, you know, but especially if we got some man things that way, we try to try to get it called there. So, so with that, we'll, we'll just uh, go to the next slide. We don't need to see my name anymore. <clears throat> All right, drive concept. So we call it the drive. So <clears throat> on this, this would be the base way we, we, we install it the first day, which we uh, go spread right stack and, and teach it from a, a stationary uh, situation and, and no motion the first day. So. The X would be on the drive, so we'd call this a gun spread right three jet X drive. All right, three jets of protection X drive is the concept. Uh, with with every drive route, uh, we have an alert for the quarterback where his eyes have to go, and basically we're trying to build triangles. And it really at, at the college level, if I can get our guy to get to the third. One, two, three, then I'm doing pretty good. Um, you, you know, and Kenny Pickett will be back. It'll be his third year here. So uh, he, he's gotten better at this all the way through and all the quarterbacks have. So we have <clears throat> on the X has got to drive with it, uh, across. And we always have a basic route uh, coming with a spray release, 12 yard, what we call basic, which I'll get into a little bit more. And then on the backside, we have the halfback has got it. Obviously he's got a check. We're in a six man protection. And he will have really a check slow flat. All right. Sometimes it'll end up being a little bit of a wide route, but he's really in that check slow flat. We we've asked our guy to chip some just to help the tackle, especially if we're playing some guys with some war daddies on the edge of Clemson and, and, and uh, Carolinas, those guys, Miami that way on the front side on this, on the two by two, we have what we call an alert. It's important that the Y is off the ball. And then the Z has got a mandatory, outside release go route, all right? And, and, and we want him to run that to win, right? Most likely the quarterback is not going to go there with that, but uh, 
you know, it's a, it's a scan across the field where the quarterback's eyes will be on the alert, alert, and then he'll come back down to the drive, to the basic, to the check slow flat. So every time you hear drive in the quarterback's mind, he's really thinking alert, drive, basic, check slow flat on that, on a two by two. <clears throat> All right. So the quarterback <clears throat> is a, is in the gun is a, is a one, four drop. Uh, it's a five step drop. And we do a lot of five-step. All of our shallows are out of five-step. Now, we have two five-step drops in the gun, and uh, one is a big five. And this is a one-four, as I as I talk to the quarterbacks about it. It's a big one. It's a punch plant, okay? And then he's going to go four control drops. We call it four control, four control quick. And you'll see that when we get to the tape later. Under control, because if he's going to throw the alert, on uh, the semi where they've given a look somewhat that way, a fire zone or things there to that front side. He's going to go that one and two, and it's going to be a three plant throw to the outside. So he's got to be in control all the way through. If there's not necessarily a hot, I won't get into the protection aspect of this, but if there's a blitz in his face, we like to throw into the blitz, especially the man blitzes. So he can take the drive on his third step. All right, being in a gun has changed this, obviously, when you originally watched this, this, this concept, when Joe Montana ran it, when Steve Young ran it, those guys never had one snap in their careers in shotgun. So we've had to kind of change this a little bit. So um, the, the hot route or the end of the blitz has got time, not like it was under center where you had to get that out right away. A little bit more in the NFL. More, we're more shotgun now than ever, and so has the NFL gone to that. So, any any really, we call it a hot, but it's really just you know a looky for the uh, drive runner to take that. Now we have gotten caught. Uh, I can remember in Miami against Oklahoma, with Venables got caught on on that. If it's a fire zone, we would like to throw away from the fire zone, right? The Dick LeBeau kind of game that way, or get it to him early because that end will drop. So that's where we may go more back back to the basic, but pretty much from day one, we're going to go ahead and throw that drive. If we've got any inside double mug or any, any kind of uh, <clears throat> double a gap blitzes in there on that third step with a court, with a wide receiver, getting his eyes to the quarterback. So again, for the quarterback, that's alert drive basic. And then for, we always say check slow flat in that progression. All right. In the alert in a two by two concept, it'll be a semi outside. So he's got to go ahead and see the corner. He's really the control player. If the corner is playing man, inside man, and his eyes are down the field, you've got a shot at the alert. Now, we talked to our guys about Kipper, know your personnel, the tight end, depending who it would be. You know, and UMass, we had a couple guys, Adam Brenneman, that would be a big alert there. Um, we had Kelsey in, 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 uh, <clears throat> with the Chiefs, certainly we go there. Um, so – Knowing your personnel is important there. But I go back to the Mike Holmgren kind of teaching was, hey, if we're calling drive, if I call drive, we're really looking to throw the drive in the basic. All right, so it's got to be clean, and you want to make sure you get a completion. But the quarterback will go on three and any kind of fire zone or blitz to the outside to the semi on that. Have I thrown the go route? Yes, but that not very often, all right? not, not He's got to make sure I'm, I'm looking for a completion on this play. We throw enough goes or four verticals that you got to have a matchup that you really like, or that guy falls down or anything, something that way, that guy just beats him clean. So we're looking for the alert first, the semi and the two by two and the three by one concept that we'll talk about what we call drive pin post in uh, against a quarters look uh quarters beater. Then the, then the concept of um, the alert will be the post on the outside, which I'll talk about at the end, which could be a three and a plant, or he can get a three and a hitch on, on that and then hitch it up that way. All right, the drive, how we teach the drive route or any shallow route. We want that, that shallow runner inside when he's inside off the tackle. We want him to run through the back foot of the defensive end to a point six yards on the sideline. All right. We don't want any more depth than six yards. Early on, when you're teaching shallows and drives, those guys will turn their shoulder and they'll end up flattening and probably get to five. 
So it's a point across the field, six yards, and we want him hauling ass. We want speed across the field. So run through the defensive end's back foot. All right, Rin, we want him to read through the corner uh, on the other side to the flat defender. Pretty much in college, and, and even though we're getting a little bit more zone lately, is, is, is probably not going to have to sit. But if that, that receiver does sit, we want him to take one extra step to make sure, ensure that we've got spacing for that triangle over the ball in the hash area. If, if that receiver gives his eyes to the quarterback, he's telling him I'm open. That goes back to the Jerry Rice stories from some of the guys that I work with that, hey, this plays for me. I give you my eyes. The quarterback is allowed to throw him the ball right now, and he's got to make something happen. But in the zone, we want to take an extra step, probably get to five yards and that backside, uh, backside of the hash area there and sit down. <clears throat> All right, so again, read through the corner of the flat defender. That basically is the same as the quarterback as he scans his eyes. He should be able to see with it what's happened, if any kind of cloud coverage or we've got some kind of flat defender in that area knowing it's zone. So a quarterback will go drive, then he'll go, if he doesn't like the drive, he's going to get back inside to the basic. So the biggest thing is, man, we want speed across the field. We want we want to run. We're, we're running a go route across the field, and we want to stretch the coverage all the way through. And again, the zone, do not give your eyes to the quarterback until you have an extra step. So we don't want him, the drive runner or the shallow runner to give his eyes to the quarterback now and then sit. He wants to stick his foot in the ground, get settled, then turn his eyes to the quarterback, and he'll throw the ball off, off of the defender. If the defender's outside, I want the ball on the inside number, no higher than the shoulder or right on that number. If the Inside, if it happens to be a little deeper and he's got some kind of mic backer pushing him, then the guy, then the quarterback, we want that ball, and that's important is the accuracy on the outside number. Telling that guy who sits, the drive runner who sits, that's where you're going to turn and you can make yards. And that's a teaching thing that uh, really comes back to the, the Bill Walsh way that uh, you, you're, telling the, the, you're telling the receiver where you want to go with the ball and where he should turn that way. So that's a teaching process that's worked at every level I've been to since, since 2008. Okay. So that, that, that is the drive uh, aspect of this play, obviously the most important and, and anybody can run that. All right. Number three, the basic. All right. So number two in a progression, really. So the basic, we want a little bit of a spray release. We'd like in the man, we'd like him to run behind it. So we don't want to, we, we don't call it a, a pick. We don't want any kind of any any kind of contact. We want an outside release that, which we call a spray release, and then we want him to push vertical. All right. We'd like to get the rub on man. So pushing vertical, we want to stretch the zones that way. So the rules for the for the basic route by anybody who's running at a tight end, now, could be a back, could be a uh, another wide receiver in there. And versus man, we want to stick that defender and we want to run at 12 yards. Um, I don't really say 10 to 12. We give them a, we tell them 12 yards. We don't say four to six, it's six yards. In football, and you don't tell a guy, hey, be here at two minutes to eight or maybe two minutes after eight. So we tell him we want 12 yards. More times than not, he's probably not going to get 12 yards in his own. But we want to push our, our route depth, and obviously speed has a factor in that. But I'm always looking to stretch deeper and wider uh, on any kind of concept. So we're telling our guy 12 yards We want versus man. We want to stick your outside foot in the ground. We want to turn and we want to lose a little ground and run across at 12 yards. Wait. If there's any kind of wall coverage in a Mike backer and man free, he walls it, or we got a two man look where they're inside out on that basic runner. Uh, we're going to talk about strike back. So we want to work that guy's upfield shoulder. If he walls us, then you're going to, stick your foot in the ground and you're going to strike back opposite that and come back. That usually will happen when a quarterback's on his fifth step or any kind of scramble action where he may scramble left where we're going to stick our foot and come back and making sure that we lose a little ground so we can't get undercut there. So we talk about stick and run and strike back on any kind of man or scramble. Versus zone, we talk about our guys obviously knowing whether it's a three down front, whether it's two backer scheme, or whether it's a uh, you know four three with a one backer scheme where the windows are a little bit different, 
So it's four three. We're going to talk our guy, our guy about. Hey, you got in zone, you got first window, and you got second window, and you're under control. You're still coming out of the break hard. You might have a first window, and you're really throttling, or you're sitting in that window off the bike backer. If that mic backer buzzes and you got something on the front side and you can get and he's coming back to you, we want you to go to that next window and we want you to settle in that area that way and a quarterback will throw you accordingly. Again, a quarterback's got to know personnel. Everybody runs it a little bit different. We don't, we try to cookie cutter it, but we're not in the NFL. We got guys all the time. So knowing your personnel is important in that. So first window, second window. So the basic is, hey, we just tell the guy, hey, your role is man, you know, stick and run. You can strike back. You got a first window opportunity and a second window and make sure you're under control in any kind of zone. And if it's zone, especially get your depth so we can stretch that. On a check slow flat to the back, all right, we, we have gone to said game plan wise where we can help that left tackle or right tackle a little bit with a chip because you're a late number three um, in the progression. So we'd like him to chip on the outside. Obviously, he's got his protection, which I'll talk to about in a second. And then we'd like to just get a little uh, chip on that. We're not a real full chip, but making sure we take care of that end and then we find that hole in the backside, what we call a check slow flat. Okay, so he's outside release and he's getting in that window outside and a quarterback and getting his numbers to the quarterback, we can get back that way. So those are the, the basics on, on, on our, our, our rules for our uh, players that way, right? <clears throat> All right, in the jet protection, which is this, our base protection, I said I don't want to get into a bunch of it that way. We have a six-man slide protection. If it's a four-three, it's basically hey, the the four, the five down, the five down. They've got four down, and the will backer, all right, and then the the halfback has got the mic to Sam. The hot will come off of. It could be in the alert. He could throw the alert if he wanted on, on a hot, or he could take the drive, which most likely he would take the drive on that. So we're going to slide. We've got a man side and a zone side. All right. It's our base protection, two or three jet. So as I said, three jet, when you hear that, that's telling the line what to do in that way. I don't want to get into, our, you know, our, we don't really Liz or rip. We don't really move this very much because it's an easy hot. If we do get the things inside, we're, we're, we're protected with the six man, obviously in the zero blitz could be a little bit of a factor, but you got a good man runner that way. And you've got a good alert to get that over the top. So uh, two jet to the right, three jet to the left. So the halfback will go that way. The quarterback will understand there. But we don't really move the protection much in this concept, uh, maybe in a nickel situation down below, but that, that's that's for another day that way. So two or three jet, call side, man, backside. We're going to release four, automatically four. If they bring <clears throat> six, we're fine. They bring a seventh. All right, then, then the quarterback's got to take care of any kind of zero blitz and certain things that way. But it's a good zero bits blitz beater also that way. So the jet protection, which has stood the test of time. <clears throat> okay, just a little bit of a variations here. All right, um, which we talked about the first one, the gun spread right stack. I want to give you some formations that we've used, some different things that we've done throughout as we've changed this, you know, week to week and, and uh, um, you know, may call it two or three times or one, two or three times, then I'm going to change it the next week that way. So gun spread right stack, three jet X drive. There's your alert semi. you got the drive runner. You've got the basic, all right, at 12. And then you've got your check slope flat on that, which should be a little bit more up the field. It could be a wide if he gets tied up with that tackle. On the right, we've got a just giving you a little bit, all right, in the spread game, all right, four wides. We've got a gun spread left. M short would be our Mustang guy, and I'll talk about that a little bit longer. That little bit, that was just a little package we put together last last year. So the Mustang runner will have it. It'll be a little bit wider, not that much. We still like it tight, all right. The, what I like about this is our zebra, our third wide out, all right, that, that alert becomes more of a, an alert because we got a faster player. We had our, our two fastest guys, one running the drive and the other, the zebra man, running the alert on a certain looks, trying to get him on the nickel Sam that way. And uh, now the Z, uh, Z still got the mandatory release outside. So it was just a little package we put together and changing the look up and personnel-wise and mixing our personnel and our Mustang package. So gun spread left, M short, 
two jet M drive, you got your drive basic check slow flat on that look there. Okay. All right, got uh, what we like to do is usually take our best player, and we've done this for a while now. Is is we like to so he's not getting doubled or bracketed or those things, and just another look for the defense and. We've got run plays out of it. We'll put him as a tailback, all right? And uh, we'll motion him either way. So this would be a, a one we had third down, I forget who. Uh, so we, what we do is we just name the receiver. We have Jordan Addison, their freshman All-American. When I was at UMass, it was Tajay or Andy Isabella, two guys that are in the NFL or anybody that way. So we we put that man in the back, but we just give him the name. He knows Jordan gun trips, right? So he lines up as the tailback, and then he can motion either which way. Obviously, in the drive route, in this one here, we wanted to get to a four by one look in our in our pin uh, concept, which I'll talk about a little bit later. So Jordan gun trips right, two jet zebra drive pin tells that receiver that he's going to go into the tailback spot and motion out uh, that way. So that was another way we did it. Liked it on third down. I've uh, done that for a while now, uh, a lot. We really started more um, when I first got back to UMass. We did it in Cleveland a little bit also. And then we've got out of the trip set, all right, our four by one, gun trips right, zebra short, two jet zebra drive pin. So both those we like if we're getting a lot of quarters, we're down in the maybe the, the, the big red zone would be an area here where we're trying to get the post in concept on the quarters and try to hook that safety and run that off with a little bit of motion so we can get the Z free release that way. So the quarterback's still going to be five on this, on the, on the pin route, but we're alerting now the post um, to go over the top. We're really not, our eyes are not back to the X. It's the front side. So now the alert would be the Z on the post. It's going to cross face. Do we like the motion or we have stacked it in there and had a spray release that way. Um, and then a Y still running the same thing for the quarterbacks, the same thing. He just knows that now my alerts, the post, which down in the, in a big red zone in the 35 to 30 yard range, he could throw that on a plant, or I would tell him down in that area there, we would throw a plant or we would go to a quick hitch. So it'll be three and a quick hitch. Don't like it. Just hitch it back up to the basic. All right. And then straight across to your check slow flat, which a lot of times people have, a little bit of problems uh, four by one with getting four to that side. Okay, so that's that's a, another little little concept that we've had. We're not getting as much quarters as we used to, but if I'm getting a lot, then we'll we'll go ahead and put that. Try to get some speed there and do it a little bit different way there. All right. <clears throat> All right. Now we'll go to three by one. We'll go to what we call our tray set: gun tray left, zebra left. Three jet zebra drive, another way to get your guy the ball. Uh, and I always believe in, hey, making sure we get our best player the ball. And then that's, that's charted at halftime. How many opportunities has that guy got? Because if you're not getting him the ball, then you're making a mistake. And I think in the last well, five years, we've had number one receiver, Dajay Sharp had the most catches. Andy Isabella had the most yard. Jordan Addison will be a guy that will take that role and some other players that way. But so gun tray left, zebra left. We're going to motion him, and then he's going to go ahead and box that motion and then come underneath and then get the zebra drive that way. So now you've got your flanker who's running the semi, the Z-man, the X is on the outside. He's running the go route. The Z's got the semi. Uh, the zebra's got the drive. And for the quarterback, it's still the same thing. Hey, I got alert, drive, basic, check, slow, flat in his mind, just moving your – your people around as, as we've done this into a three by one, which was good. I think a couple of years ago, Central Florida, some of the looks that way, given a different one there. So there's some options that you can have um, as you're going, as you change your game plan week to week. So you're not giving the same look to the defense. Okay, here's some uh, <clears throat> some plays. Any questions on any of that stuff? All right, we'll see here. All right, so this. I believe this was the first play of our two minute. Yeah, I think it was, I know it was fourth quarter in a bowl game two years ago. <clears throat> so we got a little short motion. We got a little X short. 
All right, I like Frenchy. The, the slot down here at the bottom will start at the bottom. He's got a little bit of a spray release. So basically, we're putting our X on the Mike Backer. We'd like him to stick that and get speed across the field. Jared's eyes, he knows right now both these guys, Kenny's eyes are here on the on a Will Backer. As he pushes outside, and we know we got our guy one on we got two on one on the Mike Backer with that look here with the straight quarters look across. Up top, we're lined wrong. Do floppy, the tight end should be off the ball. All right. And the Z should be up top, and he's lazy that way. He's got to get on that guy's horse. There's no shot for an alert there with the way that corner's sitting there. But no, we got the drive route. Again, stay on the run, stick it, cross his face, get flat. I like Jared's angle. Hey, the ball's on the 40. If you look at his angle, he's probably a little flat. We'd like him to be on that uh, 46 yard line. Pushing across, he's number one in the progression. So we're building, if you look at it, we've got, we're trying to build two triangles, one, two, three. And then back here, we're building one, two, three, in case we've got any kind of zone that way. I like, again, down here, Frenchy's got, he's a little bit slow. I like him to burst at the top of that route. And he's got a big window. There's that first window, settling that window, making sure we're going to drive back to the ball. The halfback. He's got a little, he goes ahead. I'd like him to get a little piece of that and then just get down here to the 40 and turn his numbers. He's a true freshman. Get back around that way. <clears throat> Kenny steps one, two, three, four, five, and he's got a little hitch. I think he should throw this on a plant. Uh, he gets away with it, but it, I, I'm, I'm all right with a quick hitch if he lets it go, knowing that the ball's in the middle of the field. There's not as much room there that way. So there you go. Good play, good drive starter. We got 14 yards on the drive, and the quarterback's throwing the ball six yards, which I'm big on. Hey, accuracy, uh, I, I don't have a stat going through that way. There's Kenny with his eyes. The quarterback's on, on the alert. One, two, he doesn't like it. Go ahead, there's big one. One, two, three, four, five. He drifts a little bit. I like him to be straight, straight up top. I think his action's good. <clears throat> Ball's on that front number, all right? As, as the West Coast offense, we like it one foot in front of the number. He's a little low with it, but that's all right. Jerry does a nice job of catch and run, secure the ball, get vertical, get up the field, get some yak. <clears throat> on the backside, Frenchie, he goes ahead and rolls it down here. I like him to settle a little bit more, making sure he's got depth on 12. If that Mike did go ahead and wall that drive runner, then he would come back to the to the uh, uh, basic route. It really ends up being a good curl route in there on that on that Sam Backer. Okay. All right, uh, we got a little spread action. Now we're good up top. All right, the alignment's much better. Tight end's not as fast. If we got a buzz coverage up top. That alert, he can turn right now. He shouldn't run there. He should just turn and tight turn and hook up right there at 12 yards. Sit and hook. So he stretches that guy that way. <clears throat> up top, I don't like the Z running. He's got to run outside. All right, there's no shot at the alert. Quarterback takes it out. He's, he's going ahead and periffing the mic back. He's looking at the will run out. Mike backer sits there and take the ball right now to the drive runner, bad throw behind him. He got a minus on accuracy. I like his, I like his technique. We just got to go ahead and get a little wide in the, in the base on the throw, stay a little tighter there. Big one, two, three, the, he got to a big three, four, which I didn't like that way. I <clears throat> and get the ball accurate right on the front. If he felt like that guy was closing, the will was closing. I would like that back shoulder throw, but I still think the ball should be one foot in front of the numbers there. <clears throat> All right. Down here, the basics, the X. We flipped it off. The X there, he can go ahead. There's a second window. First window, the mic works to him. I'd like to see him stick his foot in the ground. He's rolling off the wrong way and get in that second window behind that mic backer because we're building a triangle there, the backside. <clears throat> So he's got a minus there. Get to that next level. I like what Jared did with the ball. Stuck his foot in the ground in your drill work. Hey, don't get, hey, you catch the drive, you shall. 
You don't get any yards going east, west, get north, south, stick your foot in the ground, get up the field, all right, get the first down. So you got a little six, seven yard throw for, for 10 yards. <clears throat> all right, the halfback, that's good. That's a good chip. You know, we're not looking for a big chip. We're looking to help the tackle. Go ahead and get in that action. Your backer's gone. Go right now. Chip this guy. Now get out to the check slow flat. I'd like him to turn the other way so he can perif the second the, the second level defenders on that. Get right to the hash and turn around, which if, if, if the quarterback likes you, you're right in that area there so he can get vertical, get north-south. Again, two by two. This was, again, X drive. We're in four wide. Uh, 11 personnel call zebra. Good luck there on a chip by AJ. All right, helps the tackle, shortens that. Kenny's drops pretty good. The throw's not big one, two, three, four, five. All right, we don't want ever want, we want short. So we, we don't ever want him getting any deeper than nine. So the tackles can go ahead and protect. Pretty good pocket throughout on the slide. Get it in front. All right, and I don't like the backside. I said you can see the basics got to come now. He should be running hard right there, and we go in the triangle, make sure we're stretching the field. All right, got now we're back to the stack down here. Like the all right, he could turn that way on the, on the, or he could just open that and get get speed across the field. He's a little low. I'd like him to attack the Mike Backer on the drive runner here. All ass, going too slow. All right. Up top, you got press. We don't like the matchup either way. It's really like a little bit of a two-man look up top. <clears throat> Good job by the up top outside release. I like him to get on his horse, stretch that zone. <clears throat> All right. The drive runner's got to go ahead and attack the Mike Backer, get across. Not fast enough. Running too slow. Obviously, the first shag with the fourth game. Our guy's got to get French. He's got to be a little bit faster. I like him to attack that corner's uh, leverage there. He's up. Make sure we get up high. And then he should just go ahead and sit right on that hatch. Drifting a little bit that way. And on these things, you got to make sure we have an umpire at every practice. Because these umpires are all over the place, different places. Some guys are moving up. Some guys are moving back. So, got to use that because he can also become a rub guy for our guys but also can get get away from any of those hash throws all right so he's there <clears throat> back takes a little bit longer all right i like his he doesn't he doesn't have to worry about that he should take his outside his protection's fine he's that's the freshman his fourth game he's got a bang chip that number five the end and then he's got to get in this area down here which would be wide wide ass open all right, Kenny's all right. He's a little deep. One, he's a little deep there. Push up in the pocket. Doesn't like the drive. There's to the basic. He's off the alert. Drive, then there's the basic. Would have liked the ball thrown right now. He's got an extra hitch in there. Get the ball to you, the receiver to get there. <clears throat> and a little, I don't, more than a little high. We don't want that ball anytime in the middle over the neck. We don't want it, oh, really, don't want it higher than the numbers because you're going to get tip balls, going to get interceptions. But a good spot, Frenchy made to play. Again, I think this was the also I think the drive starter um, against Central Florida. <clears throat> Kenny's drift. Uh, he's all right. One, two, three, four, five. Right now, the ball should be thrown. Decent in the pocket, under control. Two hands on the ball. And I don't like his hips is open. I like his eyes. That's why the ball is a little bit high. <clears throat> Get the elbow up a little bit higher. You put it on right off the umpire's ear. So we get a little bit of yak off of that. Okay, uh, Syracuse, third down play. Same way, spread two by two. All right, got a little short motion. I like it timed a little bit faster. Going hard right now, coming right off. As I said, <clears throat> a defensive ends, as you can see up top, right off that defensive ends back foot. He should be... Paul on ass, I'd like to hit that motion a little bit better. I might have um, we got a four down front, Syracuse. <clears throat> Frenchy the little short, so the drive runner. Go ahead and attack that. I, I I'm all right with him looking there. Not a blitz, 
probably not going to get the ball in that area. He should, his eyes should be on to Mike Backer. Again, a tight end should go ahead and just hook in front of that uh, flat defender right now. <clears throat> X should come across, had a shot to throw it. Probably, I think we're in third and seven at this situation. <clears throat> that way, I know don't, don't, down here, he's got a minus on the uh, go route. He's got a haul tail, not doing a good job, not helping being a good teammate. Got a minus. I'm, I'm all right with Frenchie on the basic. Settling that first window, right, as the mic goes ahead and drifts that way. And got a good catch on the first down, I think, for 11 yards. Look at it from the tight. Syracuse had some good players on the outside, war daddies. <clears throat> All right, center should have stayed in that area there. They got a little TE game, <clears throat> ET. <clears throat> but first, the X has got to run. We got to get speed across the field. He's got a haul tail. Then time the motion up. We got to come hard right now. All right, I like where Kenny's eyes are. He's out on the alert, moving the bike backer. There's that first window. Frenchy sits, now throw it off the corner. Again, he sticks the outside. I like him to get a little more vertical, which gives him a little more area here. Kenny's off that hash. The quarterback drifts a little bit on that. Probably helps him by not getting, getting the ball out. Again, don't want the ball. That's a good spot. Don't want the ball higher than the numbers. Throw it off the leverage of the defender. Pretty good on a quick hitch. Drifts a little bit. Hits, get it out. All right. Two hands on the ball over the top in a good spot there for the first down. All right. Uh, same look, two by two. All right, here's a good look up top where Kenny could have taken all right, the alert. We got a press man situation, mandatory outside release. I'd have been fine if he'd have taken Frenchie on the, on the alert right here on his semi. I wish Frenchie would stay a little more vertical, but he's got it on the outside. You could throw that on three plant. One, two, three. Kenny got his eyes off a little too quick on it, went through it. But had the two man look outside with that inside leverage, Nickel Sam <clears throat> could have thrown that drive runner. Mike Backer takes him. All right, go to your next progression. So, dress across the field, alert, the basics jumped on. Go ahead and that's window there. Could have been a little quicker. I think Will's got to get a little higher. He could take one more step, one more rotation. All right, and stick it. He's not running fast enough. Our guys are running a lot faster as they understand things better in the second year. So push it up, get in that window. I like the spot where Kenny's getting the ball be below the numbers. All right, numbers and lower in that area for the first down. Back's a little slow and got too much action in there. He doesn't need to. He just get a little chip, help, and then he's got to get out. He's got to get out, which can hold that corner a little bit more. Too late on that. If he's late, then he'll stay there and just give his numbers. I like what he's doing, give his numbers to the quarterback, though, and that action there where we have a shot for him to go one-on-one -on -one with the corner on a split safety look here. All right, quarterback motion, better, a little better, a little better in a motion, like it a little faster so we can hit it right off it. I like the spray release in case we got man. There's the push. There's the window. Will did a decent job. He's a little bit more of a tight turn. She get more vertical, runs around his feet. I'd like him to push it vertical and sit right on the top of the numbers in that area there. Again, the back. Bleak's looking too slow and learning his protection. Should be gone right now. No, there is no threat on, on, on the Will backer is what he's got. Right now, because six-man box. We have no problem with it. He should be gone. And getting this area outside the numbers on a stretch. A decent play. Like the leverage where, where KP throws it, where Pickett throws it. On a backside number, could be a little bit higher. Good play for the first down on uh, <clears throat> for 10 yards on the basic. Again, telling them 12. I'm good with them getting 11. Not good as, as 10. All right, another look here, the two by two, all right? 
I like where the spray release is coming with the tight end. So the corner's got to go over the top. I believe here, Kenny could have gone to the, to the, uh, he didn't like the, he didn't like the matchup for some reason out here. And that's his choice on the alert, but we've got a good semi out here. He can throw three plant. His eyes did a good job. He just got off and he told him, I could remember him saying, I got his footwork screwed up. It's the most important thing for the quarterback. <clears throat> up top. All right. Read through the corner, the flat defender. The flat defender's not there, but he gets goes ahead and gets jumped by the Mike Backer. That's our freshman. I, I'm all right with what he does. I think he could have beat him to speed across the field, but he chose to go ahead and sit. So he stuck his foot in the ground and then got his eyes back. So we don't want his eyes back that, back that way. Kenny didn't like the basic. He got caught up in a corner. Pretty good with the back. Like the ball up a little bit more on its progression. Nothing wrong there. I think we got <clears throat> four yards, which is fine. Be a good run at that point in the first down. But not perfect, but I still would like him. I'd like to know why I didn't throw the basic. I mean, to throw the alert. He's drifted a little bit. He's a little bit quick with his feet. I'm good with Jalen sticking that mic, sitting in that window, building a triangle, comes back outside. If the back would have gotten outside on that, he got caught up. He thought 23 was going to come in a protection a little quicker. <clears throat> he would have been wider, and I think we'd have got more out of this play with the stretch on that side. But decent progression by Pickett. He's got to beat the linebacker on the outside. Coach, okay, we got a question so, here about the uh, – we got a question, Coach, about the tailbacks uh, route. After he yeah. makes the chip, is he reading anybody, or is he just working in the flat? No, he's, well, his eyes should come and see, hey, there's – most of the time, you can see there's nobody on the back. And we'll get better at throwing to the back. So it's a quick chip, as those guys understand. The hardest thing, and we got some young back, the hardest thing for backs is, is pass protection in the NFL system. It's hard for those guys in college. So those guys are hey, making sure they're set. They're going to be a late uh, that way. We like them get them in a set, but we want them to turn inside. So it's a quick chip. Vince there thought he had some pressure, which obviously is priority number one, is you got your protection responsibility. Then understanding pre-snap, hey, it, it, I got a wide nine, all right? Who's that guy? Um, inside is a three technique, uh, twist game, all those things. So they're getting in the area that they got to get to a spot where they can see the quarterback, all right? Because if they can't see the quarterback, most likely the quarterback can't see them. You know, the tackles and, the, and it are 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. So they got to find the windows. So biggest thing for the, these guys is to turn inside. And we we tell them to get to six. It doesn't happen, all right? They're going to get to four. I'm fine with that, uh, on that, in the zone play. If it's man, they're not going to get the ball, most likely, because they're going to protect. If it's zone, then they just got to get outside, get the quick chip. We'd like to get to the point, hey, I want to make sure we got our quarterbacks aren't getting hit. All right, then we do enough scat and five-man protection where they're out. This gives the tackle a chance. Hey, he knows he's getting help with nobody that way. So that's kind of the priority. All right, I don't know if I answered the question, but uh, um, it's all a little bit different. But I think the major point is the back has got to be able to see the quarterback. So he may be in one area if the tackles, and you got to set your feet, and then you don't want to drift so you get undercut. We want those guys to open to the defense. So now they can go and have the two-way go on the guy that's tackling them at that point. Okay. Anything else? Not right now, Coach. Got about 10 minutes left. Okay. All right. So just another alert, all right? So we'll do a lot of snug game. And so we just put this in, and it changed the quarterback's drop. So we go to Z drive. All right, and what we call Frisco, which up top, we're going to read, we're going to have a Snuggie, which is locked, who, who becomes the alert. We get split safety, all right, the, the X receiver up top, inside receiver will take that to the post. Any single high look, inside leverage, the alert can go to the corner. So that'll go on three by the quarterback. One, two, three, he likes that. He likes the matchup. He can take it. I'm good with a drive. Didn't like probably, a, you know, it's on the right hash. I'd like to give it a little bit more feel. 
But if it's man, I'm fine with it coming through. So <clears throat> we just put this in a snug call. And he's got the alert, all right, drive. There's the basic, and there's the back on a check slow flat. So <clears throat> good throw by Joey. Should have a big play. Unfortunately, we dropped the ball early in the game against Miami. So just same thing with the quarterback. What's your alert? We're just giving a little bit different look on a drive, all right? Change the personnel. Let's different guys run the drive route. Now we've got Shockey, who had been the, the go runner. Now we got him on a drive. We got our our Jade man, our four wide. Trey learning how to run a basic. He pushes it up. He avoids a contact, sits it, run across. You got any hint of man that's stick and run, which he could have gotten the ball. The drive's open. We got the, the corner out. Unfortunately, we drop it. So as we say, a point that I, I try to make to our guys is, is uh, everybody's running, everybody's catching. All right, and the offense works when we got five guys in the route if they're if they're rushing four and they are hauling ass. All right, and the quarterback has got good options at that point. So same look here. Went back to it. All right, could I? I he, I'd have been fine if he'd have taken the alert. The X is wrong. It's not off leverage. We're running that that poco that post corner off of single high, two high split or. Uh, post safety. He should have run the corner route. I'm fine. I think on the drive route coming here, the drive I think is just sticks it a little bit too tight and loses ground. I like him to cross that guy's face and get out and try to beat the Mike backer. Joey's a little late. All right. He's off the alert. He should have gone five. It was his first start. The freshman one, two, I like the five. It would have timed up better. And Shockey's drive route, as I said, he's losing ground. We don't want that. If he, we want him at point six yards on the other side, run through the Mike Backer. He would have caught the ball on the zero off of the 40, and I think we would have had a first down. By losing ground, now he's going to get tackled. Again, I don't like this alert as much. It was just kind of with man, Miami with the big man team and split safety, so we just put a new concept in. I'm good with what the back's doing. That end runs runs up the field. Now go ahead and get over here. So when that happens, when we tell the back down here at the bottom, when he's being covered by the backer, as soon as the quarterback's eyes come to you, we want you to break away. So if the quarterback was going to throw the ball to the halfback, which in man probably is not going to happen, he should break away down here to the Miami sideline. So that's a little bit of a coaching point. If it's zone, he's going to catch the turn to that. If it's man, when the quarterback looks to you, if he gets to you, now break away. Don't sit there so you stay covered. But don't uncover till the quarterback's eyes come to you. So there's a point on there. The drive route's not a great route. All right, the basics all right. Got a bunch of, you know, obviously that happens when you put something new in. Change the personnel, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to make sure that everybody knows how to run things. Do not like the back's alignment. Back should be wider. All right. Sometime we'll move him around, just disguise it that way. <clears throat> so just a little different drive Frisco, as we call it. All right. This was, uh, again, we went to Mustang. So what I wanted to do on the Mustang package, I think the pictures afterwards, just wanted to get some young, we had a, we had some guys injured because of COVID. We lost a couple guys. So it gave us a chance to get, move some people around that we had DJ Turner came to our program a week before the season. All right. The other guy in the slots, a true freshman. We got another true freshman. Just what happens with things there. So down here, we've got the, the Frisco, same kind of look, but it was Mustang <clears throat> personnel that week. All right. Got the Snuggie. Again, I, I'm all right with the slot down here. It's split safety with a little bit of a Tampa play, cutting across. The, the Mike Backer's face, really good job by DJ. All right, got clamp technique, using his hands inside out on the two man look, winning and then sticking to sticking it at the top on the basic. The drive route, Clemson was really trying to take our drives away. <clears throat> they really put two guys on 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 the drive route. We got the basic coming in that second window. 
right there as man stick and run and gets upfield for about 26 yards from here. Okay. Got, Got a lot of young minutes, guys coach. out there. What's that? Got about five minutes. Okay. So <clears throat> Again, the young guy on the drive route, he's got to stay high. There's a good window on the angle. All right, Kenny got off of this a little bit. And he thought the alert, he thought he was going to have a shot at the corner route there. He got off of it, but stayed tight. He drifts a little bit to the right. All right, he has an eye. I'd like him to stay on that hatch. <clears throat> Back should be gone. All right, we got full slide that way. Back should be gone. Get out of there. Good spot. Like it a little higher. DJ's a little shorter guy, but good player, really good player for us. Got vertical. Get up the field. Okay, and then the last one, so I got five minutes, we'll go to the tape, is the pin route. All right, so we've got trips left, zebra short. All right, three jet, <clears throat> zebra drive. The X down here is wrong. He's got a mandatory outside release. We're never going to throw the ball if you go inside. I like the way he's running, though. All right. Georgia Tech with a little bit of quarters across the front. He should be outside. I think Frenchy should go on the drive. I like the timing. I like the spray release by the tight end. He gets in that window, gives Kenny a shot at the post. Would have been bad because the first split's wrong down here. He should be wider to get all the way to the numbers. <clears throat> be three on the alert if he wanted to get Shockey on the post, which he's got a – Nice spot in there. I like what the tight end's doing. There's that first window. The mic runs with it. Got a first window basic. Pretty good triangle there. Good spread. Shockey's running up top. I like the back where he's at. He's getting wide with a little chip. So good play. Got a chance to throw the ball down the field. Got a can. Got a bunch of guys open. Just said five guys. Pretty easy throw in a hash game. One, two, three, four, five. Could have thrown it on a plant, but I'm fine. A little bit of a quick hitch. That window, there's a good throttle. Pushes up, settle in that window, and I get vertical. So the pin, okay? And then we talked about the drive on that. All right, again, the playing man. We just got a little motion. I like it timed up so it gets into stack alignment. Up top, we put Jordan, our, our best young receiver, in the slot. Kenny probably could have hung on him. He got tied up a little bit under the two-man, but he's got the alert up top if he want, wants to wait on it on a semi. DJ's doing a good job on a drive. He's running. Good route by Taysier down here. I like him to stick it, run, get the ball in front, don't fall down. <clears throat> We've got a chance. Me it gives a quarterback alert. He's open. We got the drive. Nice job up top by the young freshman, Jalen Barden. He's taken off. He's doing a nice job on his mandatory outside release. Open it up. Taysia, we should have another 25, 30 yard play. Fortunately, falls down. Kenny got a minus in his accuracy. Shouldn't have drifted. Got a little antsy against the Mighty Tigers, but should have stayed right in there. I think it would have helped out. Still get the ball in front of the front pad. I like where it's down. Should should get a lot more out of that. A lot of wasted ground there. Okay. So that gives you a little bit of a look of the drive and how you can play it out and, and move people around. And, you know, it's been a good play for us. It will be a good play. It'll be a first day install. Any questions? All right. Happy New Year. Stay safe. Wear the mask. I know nobody can come. If you need anything, let us know. Unfortunately, I don't, it doesn't look like we're going to have anybody doing anything. So, but if it does open up, you're welcome to come anytime. I don't hide anything. I'll give it to you. Have access that way, and just just have a have a great great day, a great weekend, and a great year. Hail the Thank pit. You. Thank you for your time, Coach. Yeah.